Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is activate the plugin. Let's go over to plugins. I have already installed the plugin here, so I'm just going to look for my booking plugin right here. And I'm going to click on activate. There. So now that the plugin is activated, we're going to see a new menu here, Yid, booking and appointment. And here's where we're going to find the plugin panel. The first tab we're going to find here is dashboard, where you'll find the all booking sub tab that displays any upcoming bookings. You can see here when the bookings begin. You would also see all bookings. So any bookings placed on this side are going to be visible here, even if they already took place. And then you're going to see the different booking statuses here. I have one unpaid booking and another paid booking. You can see those statuses right here as well. And then you'll also find the calendar sub tab here. This is where you'll find the bookings organized in a monthly layout like this or in a daily layout. You see, we don't have any appointments for today, but we do have an appointment for the day after tomorrow. So we have the appointment right here. You're going to see the appointments with the color of the booking status. This one is a paid booking, so it's green. And then we have another one that is currently unpaid, so it is gray. This daily calendar is set up with a time step of an hour, but you can change it here to 30 minutes or 15 minutes. You can also see here that you have the options to filter by product, by resource, or by date. And you can also do a quick search right here. It's the same for the monthly calendar. See all filters here and the quick search bar here. Then we have the settings tab. This is where you'll find most of the plugin's global settings to define its behavior. The first sub tab is booking forms. This is where you'll configure the booking form your customers will use to book products or services. Let me show you an example. This is a booking form that customers can use to place the booking. Here they're going to be able to choose a trainer because we have resources enabled. Here they can choose the date and the time slot, given that this is an appointment that lasts for two hours. And the book now button instead of the add to cart button. Back to the dashboard. So here you can configure where to show the booking form. Right now it's after the description. You also have other options like for example, the widget slash block option. This is a great option in case you want to add the form to the product page sidebar or as a block to a page on your site. Let me show you a couple of examples here. Here is the booking form. Add it as a block to a page using the booking form block. And here's another page with a different design with the block here to the right. But right now we have it after the description. You can also set the date range picker layout, the calendar style, how many months to load in it, disable days if no time is available, and more. Then the next sub tab is calendars. This is where you can set the time step and start time in the daily calendar we saw before. And here's where you can set what to show as a booking name in the monthly and daily calendars. Then you will also find a Google Calendar section because we have this module enabled. I'm going to show you that in a couple of minutes, but basically here you can sync your site's calendar one way with Google Calendar and see the bookings on your Google Calendar as well, okay? You can configure that here. Here are the steps to follow, of course, but you're also going to have the steps to follow in the dedicated guide. And then we have the customization sub tab. Here you're going to find options to customize the plugin for your needs. You can choose, for example, the date and the time picker format, the colors and the fields font size that are visible on the front end elements, and the labels. See all the labels you can customize here. You can change the add to cart label, the bookable label, check in, check out, dates, duration, and more. For example, we saw that the add to cart button was now book now. I can change it again to book it now. 
save options, back to the side, refresh, and there's my new book it now button, back to the dashboard. So as you have just seen, it is really easy to change labels with these settings.